Americans and other French subscribers around the world, we are on our way up the mountain to the fish fences. Got our passes, got all our supplies, and just went through the, the blockade. Since. We're pretty excited to be back up here. Kai is choking the heck out of himself. He's so excited yes, to be he back out of here. I don't know who's more excited, us or Kai. Oh, yeah. So, uh, ended up, whoa, dude. Ended up uh, getting a later start. It always turns out that way on the first day of anything. And then life. spilling your coffee all down my leg. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, with it being closed, they haven't come up, you know, because they'll come up through with a scraper and kind of, uh, you know, Keep the roads kind of air. smooth. It's kind of smooth. And we come into that, and I was carrying my my open face or open top mug. It was on the dash, and needless to say, Miss Kitty is got a cup soaked. Full of yeah, I got uh, stains all, all over our from my knees to my ankles. Yeah, got stains all over our uh, from heads and everything. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Flipped it all over. <laughs> Whoops. But now we know we don't want to use that cup no. in the green bean, no. especially on this road. No. So we're going to head up here and then we'll show you. Actually, they've changed a bunch of fences and we're going to walk around as many of them as we can today. As we can today. And shouldn't be too much, if any, maintenance or anything on them because. Right. And actually, the tour service is up here signing them off because they come in, they have to check them before they get signed off. And then after they're signed off, then they become our responsibility. Right. Make sure we take it and take care of them. All right, so we'll check back in here in a few. All right, still cruising along up here. Um, hadn't really thought about that uh, fire crews would be up here, but there's a. Uh, Fire camp. Yeah, the first yeah fire camp, the first campground, man, just loaded down with uh, supplies and supplies, fire crews, you know, porta potties. Uh, I hadn't really thought about it, man. It's a lot different. Camping. Yeah, it's and kind of well, it's just kind of a different yeah. so far, just a different experience, you know, kind of interesting. I was gonna film it, but you know, we didn't want to go by. Yeah. <laughs> Showing the cameras, I go by there. Of course, everybody's looking, you know, because what the heck's this little, what's that green bean I have for you? Hey, wait, I think that was green bean. Hey! All right, so, film what we can along here. Still oh, coming. this got us this Yeah. All right, so we're up here on our our first fence and if you watch our videos um you've seen this one a lot this or, well and the other ones <laughs> but this is the one this was electric and they just converted this over went from electric to the bob wire and if you look back on the old videos you'll see where there was a yankee gate here and then that's the one you can see the box right there which i'm gonna end up gonna find out from uh if i need to pull them boxes off what we need to do about that um so we will find out about that oh, probably man there's a t-post to be good to take with us too but man they did one nice fine job Good job, guys. Beautiful fence. And a nice path to walk around it. They got a crew that's clearing on each side. Helps the maintenance. It's funny because here's the, this is the original path. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the original path where the um electric fence right here man they had done one fine fine job and we do know that our son was out here doing this kevin he hates it it's kind of like me and roofing he uh really because roofing yeah man he's very very good which 
the Forest Service is always having him go out and do fences because he does, man, he does a nice, nice fence. And uh, I said it's the same with roofing, man. I've always been, it's just a natural, natural thing for him to fence, a natural thing for me to roof, and both of us do not like doing that. <laughs> Yeah. This is what we're here protecting. Yeah, this is what we're protecting. Well, the fish that are in it. Yeah. Spawning grounds. Man, they cleared this nice. Oh, and they did get rid of that big. Look at those rounds there. This one has been a uh, been doing the fish fences for four years. And this log, you can see what's left of it there, and that's gonna eventually it's gonna slide back down into the fence but man for the last four years we'd come and get this fence or get this uh get the fence over and around this massive uh fall and then as um you know as the time would go by it would kind of keep working its way down so you had to mess with it every year and it was always a, just a problem area you had to crawl over it. Yep, and they actually had the... Hard to get around it. Look at that thing, man. Man, that would split so nice. Could you back that out for me, yeah. kid? Look at this thing. I mean, it was ma it's massive. And it came down right here. So, man, this is great. Oh, wow, and then they shot up. Look at the... Yeah. Chink, chink. Yeah. That's a little different. All right, man, we'll check back in. Beautiful spawning area. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful fence there. That's nice. Keeps the cows out, but it don't keep him. <laughs> All right. Now we're on another fence. This one's actually been barbed wire for a while. Trying to walk. This is number number two. <laughs> what, do have? what do we have? Eleven. I think it's eleven fences in all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grab that trash on the way out. <laughs> we'll get on the way back, man. Oh, watch out, swamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, sp yeah, there's spring right there. All right, so we're gonna hoof it now. See, like on this tree here, see how the got the one kicking out there. See, we'll go along, straighten that, straighten that, and then you gotta really watch. Uh, see, this loose is here. Down there. Yep, and actually, I'm probably gonna have to get the actually, this may put an extra. Yeah, that needs to be. All right, I'm gonna have to fix this. I'll just that's the kind of things because a calf could get up under here, so I have to turn this thing off and fix this fence. All right, so now we're on the back side of two, headed back to the truck. This one had a couple spots tightened up, all is well. All is beautiful, man. It's pretty nice. Oh, you just want to down in there, man. You just want to lay down and take a nap. Read a book. Read a book. Oh, and do a little fishing. And the green bean lays in wait. All right, so this is the uh, other side of the one that got changed out. And this... Uh, you remember the I had electric fence all the way around this here so they went ahead and decided to open this section up here once it down there's a little bit of air there's funny so fish biologists would have been the ones that said they could do it and they move this man it looks nice back here But then they moved it in a good 25 yards. Whew, yeah, it looks... Oh, this is the thing. I think Kevin's telling me he did that yesterday, I think. 
This is what I think Kevin was saying he did yesterday. Is that tamarack? Yes. Had to cut it down. Okay. Like that. Okay. Big old chunk right there. See, and the bummer thing about like this tamarack right here, which is the um, an arm, man, that's tough. The number one, uh, number one um, tree to burn. The thing is, is you cannot cut next to a creek. So we can't cut that one up. But just kind of a bummer, man. That's a nice chunk of wood. And it's green, so it's going to be heavy. Yeah. Just try and... and that, we'll probably carry this out next year if somebody else don't end up grabbing it. Oh, nice fish yeah, fence they did down here. That's the three Kevin was saying he did, I think. Yeah. So got going on down here. Woo, it's tight down here. Is it nice? Yeah, well, not. Right here. Kind of, kind of thick. Uh, oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, they moved that whole uh, whole fence up. All right, so this is the end of the one we started off on. Two complete fences down. Nine to go. <laughs> you got your little thing. Look Woo, look out, dog. All right, so this is uh, go. Ooh, that's down this year. Oh, nope, 8.7. Nice. Eight point five. This is beautiful, and this one here. If you watch some of our past uh, fish fancy ones, man, uh, later in the year we usually have three or four bull trout that spawn right down here that we watch. What you got, elk trout? This side, and this is a nice spawning ground over here, so you can check it out. The beautiful spawning area down, man. Just look My, at that. Uh, favorite, favorite. Yeah, I just love it. Here we have 8.5. 8 8.5. What's up, man? Look at them flowers. Beautiful. So here, so now we'll walk around on the back side, test it on the back side. Walk over here on the back side and test it on the back side. And this would be on uh, um, another crick than those other ones we were just on. And this is actually number two and number three. Of course. We always gotta have breakfast in the morning. A little granola and yogurt. That's what our, uh, that's what Kevin and McKenzie call us granola crunchers. I think it's their nice version of hippies. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> that what that means? That's good, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a new yogurt, man. Mm -hmm. Cherry, how do you pronounce that? Lucerne. 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 Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. How's yours? She dropped hers in the dirt. Get out of there. Man, put a little gold right in here. Yeah, so we're going to have our little special snack here. Then we'll have some Come on, come on. I ain't going to swipe here. I'm just eating. All right, check back in. All right, got another. Another one. See this here is somebody twisted to get through. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, number five. We have number four on the other side. Number four, if you watched our other videos, um, we were having probably the most issues we've ever had with the fence on this one last year. Let me check this out, and we know 
but our son personally took care of this one. 6.7. Good job, Kevin D. 6.7 on the bottom. Man, that's amazing. This fence is never tested at that. And this uh, last year, we, uh, man, us, um, the Forest Service, and the, rancher. the rancher, everybody, man, we could not figure out why this fence we could not get a good charge on this fence and kevin came in here see that's the jump that's where it circles back and kevin came in here and uh tore out just a gob of stuff and he's got it to test at that so now we're going to go walk around it and see and test the other side of it what is it Oh, I was going, what is she pointing at? I'm so pretty. Man, on this side, 8.2 and 7.9. That's nice. awesome. Amazing. All right, so now we're going to walk down here, go around this, over to where the charger is. Man, look at the clear. That's so all right, so now we're on the side of the uh, where the fencer. If you look right there's the little solar fencer, and this baby is hot, man. We just it was funny because we were just walking down the, the path there, and uh, 6.7 there. Let's see on the other side of that wire, um, some big hold. Uh, 5.9 um deer tracks man big old buck tracks man is walking right along the fence man he probably touched that and said holy smokes man that, is, that thing's hot power. Six point five. that's crazy man on that other hand getting eight two Funny electricity, what? I'm not going over there, I'm just looking for his ground. That's no, his ground, he's got the post, you can see, yeah, you can see it right there, yeah. No, bits. dude, I ain't touching nothing. This thing is beautiful and amazing and good. Here's what we're keeping them boys out. So I'm glad to see the cows didn't run the Cows didn't run to Stanley or anything. All right, man, we got them ones. Now we're on, uh, we got two left. Oh, we got. Oh, one, three left. We got four left. Five, four, three, and two. Well, I'm glad somebody's there keeping us straight. I think you're crazy. Five, you got, four, three, and two. No, we got three left. You got the one on the Shell Rock Road. Right. And then we have two down there. That's three. You got another one you want to check? <laughs> She's losing it. I'm not going to say this, but once he's right. <laughs> Man, could you repeat that on camera, please? I said once. <laughs> you got it. So we got three, three more to check. I almost let her have it. Yeah. I thought, nah, I can't do that. I do that all the time. Oh, what? <laughs> so we, uh, um, you know, if you're curious of, uh, I think somebody's asked this before, of how long it actually takes us. On the averages, I would say it averages out when we come up here, you know, on a normal day. This is the first day, so it's probably, we're whipping through it pretty fast. Yeah. Um, I'd say on the average, six hours. Yeah. The 
first day last year was oh, a different story. That was, we were up here eight or ten hours. Yeah. Because last year... And then year, we had to come back. Yeah, last year. And actually, last year, right. we were coming up here three and four times a week right. and coming up here for six to eight hours. And that was the that. first so we were having... Was, last year started off... Yeah. Uh, which I mean, we got compensated everything. It was yeah, it was know, all it was good. all fair and everything like yeah. that. But last year was it was just one of those years. Yeah. I mean, that's we had yeah. three fences that were just nothing but problems. Nothing but problems. This but, year's gonna make up for it. Yep, yeah, exactly. And today, I mean, it's smooth. We've been up here right now, probably around four hours, three, three between three and four hours. Still have three more fences. We so did we'll, two upgrades, not really fixes because they weren't. Um, right, just, just yeah, just straightening some yeah. things out. Nothing, Nothing you know, major. everything's beautiful. And I mean, mm -hmm. right now you still have, uh, so I think it's the, it's not the CCC, but the C, uh, Youth Corps. Youth Corps is mm -hmm. up. Hear that? I think it's just a B. But, uh, the Youth Corps, they're up here helping clear some, some trails and stuff around them. Mm -hmm. Um, Forest Service is doing. It's not a tire, is it? Oh my god, I got this buzzing you right here. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Bigfoot. No, you have those. <laughs> little tiny, little tiny aliens. Little tiny green men. <laughs> but, uh,. So they're ever doing so I mean there's so much everybody there's so many people doing stuff on these fences right, right. now that everything is just wow. Amazing, yeah. Amazing. So that makes us very happy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get these, stop and have us a bite. You know, we always like to stop along a creek somewhere and have a break and lunch. break out our candles and have a nice little romantic, romantic lunch. lunch. <laughs> hey, it's yeah. a no no candles. No oh, man, no candles. No. Any one of those ones that's battery operated. No. Fire but, danger. No so we're gonna, plane. Yeah. Head down. So on the average, man, I would say if you took all of it and you averaged it out, yeah. six hours. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. then sometimes more and sometimes we'll come less. up. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. to get all the way back up in here. Um, if you just drove straight up here from the homesteads by an hour. Yeah. You know, but uh I can't remember all the miles and all that, it don't yeah. really matter. Mm -hmm. But we'll check back in here in a few. Yes, sir. X marks the spot. First, somebody has to shoot it. This man, a little smoky and hazy up here, but very. Woo, grouse. Woo, what you think of that guy? It scared the crap out of you. <laughs> oh, big old blue grouse, man. Two more weeks, that old fella be in trouble. He'd be dinner. Let's see if I can see him. He's a big old one, too. So you got ruffed grouse and blue grouse, and blue grouse about twice the size, sometimes three times the size of a ruffed grouse. And that one was blue grouse. I've seen him land, but now I don't see him. Did you hear that bird? Yes, I did. Kai just stopped. I think it scared the crab out of him. Big old blue. Oh, there's some deer track. That's the path here. This is going to show you this. We've showed it before. It's actually a little, there's uh, tracks through it, and then probably from all the fire trucks and stuff that's been going up through here, because usually, man, this is just really, really bad. But uh, this is the one that, what did we cut that one year? Three tires, five tires? And I cut like three tires or something on this section. First year we did the fences. It's pretty. It's warming up. Right here. Beautiful.
All right. So now we're on our last two. Walk up there, man. It's a pretty good hoof there. They just did this one. It's a brand new bob wire. This was electric last year. This one we've had a few problems over the last four years, but not too many. Um, most of the problems we had with this one was hunters cutting the fence. Man, that's pretty nifty there. <laughs> Dude, that's slick, man. Yeah, that's slick. Pretty cool. So we gotta walk around this one, and then the one over here is actually um, our boss's fence. We're gonna walk his first. That's the one he hasn't. Uh, I don't see any cows. And then we're gonna go out that that way to see if we're spotting any his cows. Make sure they ain't in. Salmon Idaho or somewhere So we're gonna go hoof these and this is the last two and then we'll eat some lunch and then Start the journey out of here What are you doing there mister? Just watching Dora the Explorer <laughs> All right. So far, so good on this one. What's that? Oh, this trail it's uh, full of tracks. Yep. That's a good sign. He'll be he'll be happy to hear that his fence is up and his cows are still here. spot. I'm surprised that ain't fenced up. Let's watch Miss Kitty go swimming. <laughs> she fell over there head first. That would be a... That's a pretty, huh? Yeah, pretty deep little hole there. <gasps> You're gonna wet that cavu? <sighs> Feels great. <sighs> what a difference. Haha, ha, feels good. Down your neck. Uh oh. Is that a Bigfoot structure? Look at it. <gasps> he could push that off. <laughs> hey. Look at that. How did that happen? <sighs> what? And shows I watch, it's what they said. I know. They told me the Bigfoot push that over. And they told me Bigfoot bent that. That's a big Bigfoot. That's a Bigfoot teepee. Hey, I'm always watching for Bigfoot. I love to find me some Sasquatch. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna take the nice trail over here. You gonna take the nice trail because you don't want to be caught on film? Yeah. 
No, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Kitty Lee, don't you do it. Kitty. Oh, you got that big. <laughs> Woo, you good, Miss Kitty. God, man, look at that. That is quicksand. I almost sunk up to my butt. Not about that section. Dang, man. Yeah, not as bad. No, I went. I hit my knee. You definitely. Yeah. Knee. I went up to my knee. It didn't get that much, man. That was crazy. I thought I was a goner for sure. Forever. Uh oh. More quicksand. I'm sending, sending, I'm sending Miss Kitty in first. <laughs> oh, look, my dog is sinking. <laughs> God, he is a mess. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Come on. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Ooh, ooh. Oh God, don't stop. <laughs> the main thing, don't stop. <sighs> Why, Miss Kitty, you're going all native over there. All right. We're to the end here. And we got our other fences over there, but we already walked that one. It ain't quite as big and gnarly as this one. This one's all looking good. Oh man. That's what I decided. Just wash some of the mud off. One thing I got the non-muddy foot muddy doing that. Oh All right, so now whew, we're on the Mojave Desert side of this fence. Headed back, swimming all the way down. That side probably, I don't know, a mile and a half maybe, maybe a mile, a little rough, it's probably a mile, it just makes you feel like it's 20 miles, and then over across, climb up to this, and now we're on this, headed back, <laughs> so we got probably a mile, this maybe a half mile until we get out on the and then we can jump up on the road for the rest of it back. What we're doing is looking at this fence here. Something that happens a lot. Look at that man, look at the breeding area down there. Spawning area, man, beautiful, beautiful fishing hole too. Um but sometimes what happens on these steep inclines like this is the cows will be walking along there and right there is a perfect spot for it and the calf a calf will just go underneath that and then if that happens and the calf's down there bawling um the mother cow will just pretty much plow her way right through there to get to the calf there's always the chance of them rolling too, but that'd be a bad deal. Yes, sir. Still hoofing it. Here she goes. 
fox stuff. Still uh, hoofing the Mojave. Guys, what? Okay, next. Yeah, ready. All right, so it's a. Uh, hmm. All right, sorry about that. I had to cut in, man. It actually turned out uh, uh, good because, um, guys, we forest service that we work with um, just show just showed up, and they they just finished up on this and pulling out the materials. I don't know if you've seen them when we first started this video, the wood and the T posts and stuff like that. They finished off theirs. They're done 100%. They're happy with everything. We're happy. Um, ranchers will be happy. Everything's good. Um, I'm gonna eat some lunch. I think we're actually gonna eat on the road, man. We're pooped. I don't know what, uh, what time we've been up here a while, man. It is, yeah, three o'clock. About three. Five hours. Yeah, so five hours today. Yeah, and then we stood. That's before we drive out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're at five hours right now. So by the time we get home, we we'll said the average about six hours, man. By the time we drive out of this mother, so good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise, Miss Kitty. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see ya.